damn it. Literally all the candles in my place are just completely burnt out. This one's my favorite one. Let's go buy more. carb waffles and I put some peanut butter on top. Almond butter, technically. And I found a candle that works. And devoured. Hey y'all, it is time to sign up for my powerlifting meet. So this is the meet I'm doing. It is on January 22nd, and this is the address if you guys want to go and uh, support me and yell for me when I hopefully make all my lifts. <laughs> hey, this came in the mail just now. I'm very excited. I don't feel like going to the grocery store, so thank you. All right, guys, we just pulled up to the gym. It is about 4.39 right now. So I had a very boring day and I didn't film any of it, but I actually needed it. I needed this data myself and I literally sat at my computer the whole entire day from like 9 a.m. till now, <laughs> till like till like half an hour ago. Um, and it was great, I got a lot done. I feel a lot better. I feel really refreshed and rejuvenated and ready to go. Literally though, this new PE Science pre-workout that's coming out on December 27th has got me feeling some type of way. Like, <laughs> this stuff is good, guys. If you guys enjoy high volume and alpha mean mixed together, um, this is very similar except it doesn't have the fat burning effects that alpha mean does. It's just like a regular pre-workout um, along with the pump enhancing feel of high volume. So it's just like, the two mixed together minus the fat burning because I don't need that now because that's not my goal, but uh, I feel really good. It's like the best pre-workout ever, e ever. <laughs> Super Christmassy feels here at Gold's Gym today. What's going on everybody? Here is some footage from my workout from today. So since uh, Vlogmas started, since December started, I have had a lot of creative juices flowing and I've been able to pick up the camera every single day and vlog and like not worry about it. But because of that, I've gotten like slightly backed up on footage. So this footage is from like a week ago and I'm not editing my videos too slowly or anything. I just have a lot of footage and it's just kind of backed up. That's all. So I've been putting out a video every single day trying to get caught up in everything and I'm still a little bit behind. So what I'm going to do is... I'm I'm also going to post a video later in on the tonight. morning, so be on the lookout for that one just to get you guys a little bit caught up to real time. I like for you guys to see what I'm doing um, as it's happening as opposed to like, here's what I did a week ago. And I hope you guys are really having a great holiday uh, season, a ho like a nice December. Um, I hope finals are wrapping up and everything, especially for everybody who's in school and you guys are kind of winding down for the end of the year. There is one more thing that I've been uh, meaning to say that I love that YouTube has been able to allow us now to like the comments that you guys post so I can actually press the like button and it shows that I've liked it as opposed to me just being a part of the thumbs up that other people give on comments so I think that's really great if you guys see me liking your post it means I've acknowledged it so thank if you it's popping up in their recommended videos things like that so it does help us youtubers out if you do press that thumbs up button before you leave I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video this Q&A is going to start now what's up y'all it is the end of the night and I just posted on my snapchat that we're gonna do a little bit of a Q&A to finish off the video. Look at all the questions. All right, we're gonna open up one from Cassidy. <laughs> that wasn't a question, but that was funny. To know if there's a way to like don't overeat, because I find that I eat a lot and um, because usually I crave a lot of chips and it's like too, too, way too hard to meal prep for me. I don't know. And I don't know how to count my macros. I'm starting. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Oh, I was, I'm filming a Q&A. I wanted to do it before you were like completely passed out. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> 
She wanted to know how to not overeat and she craves chips and it's tough for her to meal prep and this is like the number one like overall encompassing, it's just hard. I would recommend getting my macro ebook. It literally explains everything that I would normally explain to you in a question. Honestly, just making it a priority. I know it sounds difficult and hard. Anything can be difficult and hard, but if you really wanna make it a priority and make it a lifestyle change, focus on it so hard that you just want it so badly and you can't think of anything else except for what's like you don't consider what's holding you back from uh, making that lifestyle change. Do you have any guilty pleasures? Chips and salsa, guilty pleasure, ice cream, cookies, all guilty pleasures. Good question. So for people that are starting out their journeys or lifestyle changes, when is it acceptable for cheat meals or stuff like that? Yeah, that's actually a really good question. Um, when's it acceptable for like a cheat meal or like a untracked meal or whatever when you're just starting out? Um, I would recommend, I know this sounds kind of like, I don't know, I don't know if this is the best answer, but um, I would recommend like being on a plan or like finding how long you can keep yourself disciplined. Obviously not too long that you go stir crazy, but being in something where you're disciplined for a period of time, like make it realistic. I would say like three weeks to four weeks. Like can you do something for three or four weeks? Um, but on the same token, you can still make progress by having like an untracked meal every week. If you're just coming from completely doing nothing and then you're going to doing everything, you're gonna make you're gonna make a lot of progress and you might go a little bit crazy. So if you're just starting out and you have not done anything before, even just make those slow changes. Like you don't have to completely cut out having an untracked meal. Disciplining yourself for a certain period of time is really gonna change you and is really gonna make the biggest difference in your life as well. So like not giving yourself too many excuses, but also making it realistic for your lifestyle as um, as much as you can to not go crazy. And it's like, you don't have to restrict yourself so, so hard, especially when you're first starting out and you probably are gonna make plenty, plenty of progress by just making those small, small changes in your life. We wanna know if you're ever gonna Kenzie. do the 10,000 calorie challenge. Hi Kent and your mom, you guys are so cute. Um, I would absolutely love to do the 10,000 calorie challenge. However, I wanna do it when my appetite's really high. <laughs> right now it's not super, super crazy high. Um, so I probably will do it like, like maybe like, I don't know, during like a cutting phase or like at the end of it. I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna do it super, super soon, but I will, I do wanna do it. Hey Amanda, my question is, where did you get the knowledge about lifting? Where did I get knowledge about lifting? Um, honestly, when I first started lifting, I was taking knowledge from everybody that I could. I had a personal trainer in the gym and um, taking advice from like my coaches in sports. And then when I get a, started to get more serious into like real lifting, I looked up everything online possible. So bodybuilding.com was a huge resource for me. YouTube was a huge resource for me. I would look into people like Matt Ogus, Lane Norton, and Omar Isaf if you're looking for like straight up informational stuff that's really, really good. Amanda, sorry, I'm in my robe, nice and cozy. So cute. I was just wondering, do you and like a lot of other YouTubers have all your notifications on or do you get bombarded by Instagram? <laughs> that was a good question. I've never got asked that before. Um, I don't have my notifications on, so like all these Snapchats I don't see unless I open the app. And for Instagram, I have notifications on for people that I follow. So if Emily Hayden likes my photo, I can see it because I follow her. So I don't have them on for everybody because that would just literally be insane. It would be, oof. Hi Amanda, what advice would you give to other nursing students that are also really interested in fitness since you went through the same thing? That was a good question. Um, I struggled with that so long in nursing school. I was like, how can I meld these two together? Um, I would recommend just like keeping an open mind about what you can possibly do. Um, continuously ask people in your, like as your professors or people in your clinicals or other nurses, um, see what other people have done, what avenues you can take, even just like researching different things that you can do. Like I remember Googling one time in school, like how to, like fitness nurse, like how do you do something like that? And I figured out um, there's lots of different things that you can do that specify that aren't super specific with fitness, but you can definitely do plenty of things. Like I took all my nursing knowledge, um, everything, anatomy, physiology, all of those classes. That helped me be an online coach a lot more easily. Obviously, um, you have to have knowledge of lifting and nutrition as well. So if you don't have any of that, I would recommend like taking an extra class or something about that. But that helped me a lot in terms of understanding like how the body worked. 
Okay, so I've been having a lot of uh, joint pain in like my knees and stuff after lag day. Do you have any suggestions to help me avoid this problem? Um, avoiding problems with knee or joint pain after training. Um, this is like the number one thing that I always just say, please go to a doctor and see something about and see someone about that. Um, if you're having like specific pain, I nobody who isn't a doctor or someone who specializes in that can diagnose you and figure out exactly what recommendations to give you without analyzing you and assessing you first. Um, that's what I learned in nursing school. Like I'll never diagnose somebody unless I know exactly what's going on and unless I'm completely qualified to do that. So I would please go see somebody. Hey Amanda, I love your videos. I'm getting into powerlifting mm -hmm. because of you. My question is, do you ever miss the East Coast, especially in the winters? Love you. No, <laughs> I don't, I'm sorry, I love California. Um, I love the East Coast and I like seasons and I like going back to visit, but I don't really, I'm not, I'm not a cold person, I'm not a winter person. I'm a beachy, summery type of girl, that's it. Do you have any plans to visit Canada during 2017? Particularly Eastern or even Central Canada? Yes, I would love to. Um, figuring it out, potentially a part of his workshop there. We're figuring something out though. Hi Amanda, so my question for you is what is your biggest accomplishment? I would definitely have to say writing my ebook thus far. Um, that's definitely my biggest accomplishment. Aside from graduating and getting my degree, um, I think writing my ebook was something that I put a lot of time and effort into and it's something that like really kind of helped me like separate myself. Like I'm just really proud of myself for like having done that and like pushed through that and other biggest accomplish accomplishments are just things that I'm really really proud of myself for like going through bodybuilding competitions and finishing preps and finishing them strong because those are like the hardest things I've ever done and just being able to actually complete them and finish them and say that I've done it those are things that I'm most proud of. Hey Amanda, so let's say you're on hey, prep Sophia. and your coach tells you that you have to do 50 minutes of cardio a week. Can you do that all in one session or can you you have to break it up? Um, I would recommend doing cardio at, like at least 15 minutes or so at a time. Just I would probably break it up into two or three sessions. Okay, so I'm currently lean bulking and I'm finding it a little bit difficult to put on the amount of mass that I'm looking for and I'm more on the thin side. So do you have any um, recommendations? Eat more. If you're trying to put on mass and you're struggling, eat more and keep lifting. Have you ever been in love? This wasn't a video, it was a question. Um, I would say no, I never have, never been in love. I've had boyfriends in the past, um, two long-term boyfriends. Last one was three years ago and looking back, I wouldn't say that like I was in love. Um, so no, never experienced that. How do you feel about getting fake boobs? And I've asked, I've answered this question before in a QA. and um, I have no desire to get surgery right now, but I don't, I'm not like putting it out of the question, but I'm not necessarily like super, uh, I've never, I've never really had that like desire to get them. Um, like maybe, but I don't really, I don't really care. So I'm not gonna jump into a surgery, major surgery just because, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind my size. They're, they're fine with me. <laughs> what is my background? I am 75% Italian and 25% Irish. Alrighty guys, that's going to wrap up this Q&A. That's going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.